Good afternoon. I am Seung Woo from Yonsei University. The title is the Authorized Edition. In this paper, we introduce a method for capturing hyperspectral images with consumer digital cameras. First, let me explain about the hyperspectral imaging and, and, and compare it to the conventional RGB color imaging. The RGB imaging measures light with circular channels to represent and reproduce our visual perception. On the other hand, hyperspectral imaging aims to record more accurate representation of physical light by capturing dense spectral samples across wavelengths. Due to this property, hyperspectral imaging has been used for various problems in many different fields that require accurate measurement of light. However, capturing hyperspectral images is a challenging task. One straightforward option is to buy a consumer hyperspectral camera, but this option is not viable for the majority of researchers as the cost is in the range of tens of, tens of thousands of dollars. Another option is to buy to explore an active illumination imaging system. Limitations of using the active illumination is that it requires hardware building expertise and it only can take images of indoor scenes where one can easily control the lighting. On the other hand, our system requires digital cameras only. There is no need for extra hardware. It can take both indoor and outdoor scenes and it can cover both reflectance and illumination at the same time. The key idea behind our method is to exploit the difference in the spectral sensitivities of different cameras. This figure shows our uh, spectral sensitivities of six different digital cameras. As you can see, although they look similar, they are different enough to give us full spectral measurement if you use several observations. In this paper, we find a proper combination of three cameras that provide enough variance to solve our problem. Our method works by optimizing images from three different cameras to reconstruct both hyperspectral reflectance and illumination. These are, these are the result, uh, these are computed reflectance of two color patches on the MacBeth chart taken under sunlight. Black is ground truth and green is our estimation. And our method also recovers the illumination. The recovered hyperspectral signals are accurate as you can see in this figure. These are the estimated reflectance of paint the writing condition. The first row is ground truth and second row is our estimation. Note that the results are rendered with RGBs for proper visualization between the ground truth and our estimation. With, with recovered patterns, our method can be applied to relight the scene. This figure shows our relighting result. Again, the results validate our imaging process. Please visit our poster for more information. Thank you.